okay so uh, see students uh, in the last class we have completed the chapter area related to circle isn't it we have completed the chapter area related to circle uh, today we are, i told you that today we'll start uh, the construction chapter students uh, please mute your mic those who have not unmute your mic please unmute it please mute it mute it not unmute okay so uh, today let's start uh, the construction chapter so get ready with, with your geometry box and uh, your copy and a book also now look if you look at your uh, chapter number 11 that is the construction you can see that there are two chapters uh, uh, two exercise actually exercise number 11.1 and exercise number 11.2 and I hope you know that uh, due to this situations few syllabus have been reduced so from this exercise 11.1 exercise has been removed from your syllabus that means we have to solve only one exercise that is equal to 11.2 clear so today we'll start this exercise 11.2 okay I'm telling you the actually what we have to going to do uh, actually here we'll learn how to draw a tangent or a pair of tangent of a circle from a point outside the circle now you might know the definition of tangents tangent means a line which touch the circle at one point or you can say uh, a line which intersect a circle at one point is called a tangent clear so today we'll learn how to draw a tangent of a circle from a point which is outside the circle because if the point is a uh, chosen interior of a circle so we can't draw any tangent from there okay so I'm telling you the procedure first just look carefully first uh, draw a circle I am drawing a circle with any radius so first if we have to draw a circle of any radius okay so let this is our circle with radius let the radius is O and we are taking a point here P which the which is the outside of the circle and we want to draw two tangent from this point to this circle so step one what we have to do first we have to join these two points the center of the circle and the point from where we want to draw the tangent step one just join these two point step two we have to find the midpoint of the line segment OP and I, th I think you know how to uh, find out the midpoint of any line by uh, just doing the perpendicular bisector of the line OP so do the perpendicular bisector so for doing perpendicular bisector we have to set our compass at one end of the line segment and have to take a radius which is more than half of the line segment and take two arc one is upper, upper portion and one is in the lower portion and without changing this measurement set the compass at the other end and do the same thing okay if you do this you can see that these two line intersect each other at two points these two arc intersect each other at two points okay so I am giving it a name as M and N now if I join M and N we have a line segment M in which intersect the uh, line OP at the point suppose R so this R point is actually the midpoint of the uh, of the uh, line OP okay next step is set your compass at the point R take a radius 
OA and you can draw a semicircle or you can just cut the circle at one point. Look, you can draw the whole semicircle or you can just cut the one point. Actually, we are concerned about this point, the point where the arc and the circle intersect each other. Let this point is T. Now, if I join this P and T, if I join these two points, we have a line segment which just touch the circle at one point. So, PT is the tangent to the circle. Okay, this is the procedure to how to draw one tangent, only one tangent. Now, uh, uh, if you are asked to draw a pair of tangent, means two tangent, so what do you have to do? Just nothing, nothing, just set the compass here. We have to cut one is upper portion and one is the lower half. Then we have two points, one is T and one is suppose S. Okay, and then join PS also. PSL. So here, uh, PT and PS are the tangent from the point P to the circle. This is the procedure to draw two tangent from a point. If we, if uh, if uh, the question is like that to draw one tangent, in that case we have to draw one times F. And if the question is like that, we have to draw two tangent. So we have to cut two times here. Okay. Now tell me one thing, uh, have you understood or not? If anyone have any problem, you can tell me. Otherwise, we'll go to the exercise. We'll solve the exercise. Yes, Amit, okay. Okay, so uh, let's go to the exercise. I just read the first question while I'm rubbing the board. Okay, look, the first question is uh, draw a circle of radius 6 cm from a point uh, 10 cm away from the center, construct a pair of tangents. A pair of tangent means here we have to draw two tangents to the circle and measure their length okay so first draw a circle of radius 6 cm okay so uh, first draw a circle whose radius is 6, six cm so let this is the circle whose radius is 6 cm okay and the center of the circle is O. Now take a point, circle is drawn. Now we have to take a point of which is 10 centimeter away from the center. So from here, we have to draw a line which is 10 centimeter long. So from here, draw a tangent, take a point which is at 10 centimeter away from the center. So let this is the point which is 10 centimeter away from the uh, center. You can, my measurements main, uh, uh, is not correct. I'm taking, uh, just, I'm showing you the procedure only, how to draw. You just take the proper measurement and uh, draw the construction. Okay, do the construction. So, we can let OP is a line segment whose length is 10 centimeter. Means the point P is 10 centimeter away from the center O. Now from here, we have to draw two tangent. One is like this and one is like that. Okay, so what we have to do first? We have to do the perpendicular bisector of the line segment OP. Okay, so let's do the perpendicular bisector. Draw a perpendicular bisector. So we have to set a compass here. And we have to take a radius which is more than half of the line segment and draw two arc. And without changing the measurement, set your compass at the point P and do the same. So if you do that, you can see that these two arc intersect each other at two points. I'm giving the name as M and N. And if I join them, we have 
the midpoints of the line OP. Okay, and uh, let the midpoint is R. Okay, our next step will be we have to set our compass at the point R. Okay, take a radius OR. Okay, and cut the circle, one is here and one is the lowest portion. Give it a name. Uh, one is suppose P, no, P is given, so I am taking, it is a Q point and this is S point. Now join PQ and PS, we have the tangents there. Join PQ, okay, and this PS. Okay, so PQ and PS are the tangents from the point P to the circle. Now look, actually uh, in every question we have to write the step of construction. Okay, I'm just uh, uh, telling you how to uh, write the step of construction. So step one is draw a circle with a radius, draw a circle of radius 6 centimeter. First, draw a circle of radius 6 centimeter. First step. The second step is take a point P which is 10 centimeter away from the center O. Step 2. Step 3 is uh, and, and join them. Step 3 is draw a perpendicular bisector M in to the line OP. Uh, draw a perpendicular bisector M in to the line PQ which intersect PQ at the point R. Step 3. Okay, step four is set your compass at the point R and taking a radius over, cut the circle at two point Q and S. Step five, join PQ and PS. So PQ and PS are the uh, tangents to the circle. So in exam, we have to write the step of construction. Yes, uh, Swatadeep, we have to, uh, we must have to just write the step of construction. Okay? Okay, very good. Now, tell me one thing. Any problem in this construction? Otherwise, we will move to the next question. Any problem? Okay. So, now, let's move to the next question. Now, we will... Uh, We'll do question number three. You just have a look on the question number three. Question number three. Question number three says that draw a circle of radius three centimeter and take two point P and Q on the uh, uh, P and Q on one of its extended diameter each at a distance 7 cm from the center, draw tangents to the circle from the from this to point P and Q. Okay, So here we have to draw a circle of radius 3 cm. So quickly uh, draw a circle of radius 3 cm at a middle of the page. So I am drawing a circle of radius 3 cm here. So let this is the circle of radius 3 centimeter. Let the point is O. And now take a radius, uh, sorry, diameter. We know diameter means a line passing through the center of the circle. Let this is the diameter. The name of the diameter is suppose AB. Name of the diameter is AB. Now we have to extend this diameter. We have to extend the, the diameter on the both the both both hand. So uh, we have let's extend this diameter on the left hand side. On the left hand side, and also 
the right hand side okay extend the diameter okay now we have to take two points which are 7 cm uh, from the center so do one thing first here draw a 7 cm line segment draw a 7 cm line segment okay measure it okay and from the center o take a point p here and on that side take a point q here that means the point p and the point q are at a 7 cm from the center o now from this p point and q point we have to draw tangents to the circle okay i am starting on from the point q so now we'll draw two tangents from the point p to the circles so the process is same we have to do the perpendicular bisector of the line op okay so take a radius which is more than half of the line segment okay and set your compass at the point o now and cut it now if i join these two cut point we have the midpoints of the line segment oq let the midpoint is let the midpoint is suppose uh, m okay now set your compass at the point m set your compass at the point m take a radius mo and cut the circle at two points let the uh, points are suppose uh, points are t and s now if i joint the point qt we have one tangent students please unmute your, uh, mute your uh, microphone and then join these two point so from q point we have drawn two tangents and we have to do the same procedure from the point p also okay so uh, do the perpendicular bisector of the line op so take a measurement which is more than half of the uh, length op and setting the compass at the point o and p respectively cut them so they will intersect at two point if i join these two points we have a midpoints of the line op let the midpoint is in okay now set your compass at the point in take a measurement o in uh, and cut the circle at two point okay then join okay so let's the name of these two um, cutting points are suppose u and v okay joined pu and pv okay so here the tangents are qt qs from the point Q and uh, PU and PV from the point P. So we have two tang uh, two to the four tangents here. Okay, and this complete the construction. Uh, construction. Now you have to write the step of construction here. Okay, so step of construction is first what we have done. We have uh, draw a circle of radius three centimeter. Yes, in exam, uh, we have to write the step of construction. Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, not in. We have to write the step of construction. Okay? Now, I am telling you the step of construction. First, draw a circle of radius 3 cm. Take a diameter AB. Step 2. Step 3. Extend the diameter to the both the side. Uh, step 4. Uh, uh, from the point O, uh, cut two points, uh, take two points P and Q, which are 7 centimeter away from the point O. 
step 5 do the perpendicular bisector of the line QO let it intersect the line QO at the point M and from the and take a perpendicular bisector of the line OP which intersect the line at the point O N okay now setting uh, the compass at the point M take a radius OM cut the circle at two point T and S and joining QT and QS similarly setting your compass at the point N taking a radius ON cut the circle at two points U and V and join the point U and P and V and P we have four tangents to the circles okay so uh, construction is done I have also tell you the step of construction now tell me uh, have you any uh, questions any confusion any problem quick quick no sir okay so let's uh, solve one more problem uh, the next question will be question number five uh, five yes question number five and that will be the last question for today okay so question number five is uh, draw a line segment AB of length 8 centimeter taking A as a center draw a circle of radius 4 centimeter and taking B as a center draw a circle of radius 3 centimeter construct tangents to each circle from the center of the other circle okay so first take a line segment which is uh, 8 centimeter okay so I'm taking a line segment 8 centimeter long let the line segment is a B this is a point and this is B point whose length is 8 centimeter okay now at the point A draw a circle of radius 4 centimeters okay so from a point let's draw a circle of radius of 4 centimeter okay I actually I'm just rubbing this portion once let this is our let this is our a point this is 8 centimeter long now we are taking a circle of radius 4 centimeter let this is the circle of radius 4 centimeter and now take a circle with center V whose radius is 3 centimeter let this is the circle whose radius is 3 centimeter now question is from the center of this circle we have to draw two tangents to that circle we have to draw two tangent to this circle and similarly from B point we have to draw two, two circle to uh, two tangents to this circles okay so we have so what we'll do we'll first uh, construct a perpendicular bisector of the line AB okay so let's do a perpendicular bisector take a point whose length is uh, more than half of this and do the perpendicular bisector first join them if I join them we have we have the midpoints of the line segment and let the midpoint is R okay now set your compass at the point R take a radius AR and cut the circle at two points one is P and one is Q then joint BP and BQ
Okay, so from the center of one circle, we have drawn two tangent. And now, from the center of uh, this circle, means from the point A, we have to draw two more tangents to this circle. Okay, so I think my measurement is uh, taken. Okay, so take B as a OB as a radius, cut the circle at two points, let the name of the points are PQ, this is uh, S and this is T. Then join S, join the point A and the point S. and join uh, A to the point T. Okay, so we have the tangents. P, PB, BQ, AS, and AT are the four tangents drawn from the center of one circle to the other circles. Okay, now uh, the step of construction. Okay, so first step is, first we have taken a line segment AB of length 8 centimeter. So step 1 is take a line segment AB of length 8 centimeter. Step 2, draw two tangents at center A and B respectively with radius 4 centimeter and 3 centimeter. Now from at A point and B point we are drawing two circle of radius 4 centimeter and 3 centimeter respectively. Step 3, do the perpendicular bisector of the line AB which intersect it at the point R. Okay? Step 4. Setting your compass at the point R, take a radius OA or OB, cut the circle at two point P and Q, and this circle at the point A and T. Then join, uh, mean step uh, 6. Join PB, BQ, A's, and AT. We have the tangents as PB, BQ, is and at just all step of construction means the step we are applying to draw that construction nothing else okay now tell me uh, any problem from your side in this construction no okay uh, no problem then uh, Let's go to the next question. Next question is question number six. Just only seven questions are here. I am solving question number six also. Question number six is uh, ABC is a right angle triangle with AB equal to six centimeter, BC equal to eight centimeter, and angle B equal to ninety degree. Okay, so let's draw a line AB first of length six centimeter. Let this is our AB line. This point is A, I am taking, and this point is B. And angle B equal to 90 degree. So draw a 90 degree at this point. All of you know how to draw 90 degree angle. Okay, so quickly draw a 90 degree angle. Draw a 90 degree angle then join it okay and the length of BC equal to 8 centimeter given uh, 8 centimeter okay so uh, take a 8 centimeter measurement okay and cut the circle here let this is our 8 centimeter this is point is C suppose BC equal to 8 centimeter you can see my measurement may not be correct actually not correct actually you can see I'm not taking I'm showing you just procedure you we just take the proper procedure and draw it so from B point uh, cut a line whose length is 8 centimeters okay now join this to point A and the point C my scale is not that long to join the point A and C okay but till I'm trying to join it Okay, so our triangle ABC is complete, uh, a right angle triangle ABC is complete. BD is the perpendicular from B to AC. So this is B point 
and this is uh, AC point. So from B point, we have to draw a line which is perpendicular to AC. Now look, how to draw a perpendicular line from a point to a line which is outside the uh, line. Okay, so from B point, take a measurement which is just cross the line. Look, this is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So we have to take a measurement, just cross the line. Just cross the hypotenuse AC and then cut the circle at, uh, then cut the hypotenuse at two point. Okay, one is point is this and one is point is this. Now, just do the perpendicular bisector of this, this length, this length. Okay, so set your compass here, take a radius more than half and draw it in one side, not both the side. Okay, so this is the point. Now, join this point and the point B. Okay, so if I, uh, any name is given, uh, D is D, this name is D. So BD is the perpendicular drawn from the point B to the line AC. This angle is 90 degree. Okay, next question, next line. Uh, the circle through BCD drawn. Now BCD, we have to draw a circle through this point. This point, this point and this point. This is a very complicated uh, construction. Now we have to draw a circle uh, which passes through the point D, point C and point B. Okay, so how to draw it? Set your compass here. do the perpendicular bisector of this line. Do the perpendicular bisector of this line BC and join them. Okay, so uh, this is the perpendicular bisector of the line BC. And we have to draw one more perpendicular bisector of any side. I am taking CD side. So draw a perpendicular bisector of the line CD. This two line and this two line. Okay, so we have the points are this point and this point. Now join them. If you, if you join them, you can see that these two lines intersect each other at this point. Okay, at this point. Okay, so now set your compass at the point where these are intersect and then take a radius OC or OD or OB. If you draw a circle, you see that this circle will touch the vertices of the triangle BCD. This circle is called circumference circle of a circle, means of a triangle. So this is the circumcircle of a triangle. Okay, now next line is, from the point A, we have to draw two tangent. Now look, one tangent is uh, already drawn, BD. This angle is 90 degree, so AB is a tangent. We have to draw one more tangent from the point A. Now we know a theorem that uh, the length of the tangent drawn from a point outside the circle are equal. So as one tangent are already drawn, so just measure it and cut the circle. Measure it and cut the circle and join it. That will be the second tangent. That will be the second tangent. AB, suppose this tangent is 80. So AB and AT are two tangents from the point A. <laughs> you can see that the uh, construction is little bo bit confusing and it look like hazy. Okay, but uh, do it very carefully. Okay, so students tell me from your side. Uh, have you understood the way I have drawn the diagram? 
there are a lot of stuff we have to ap apply here to complete the construction any problem from your side okay swastika so understood sir please download this video yes yes i i, I will upload this video on uh, our youtube channel you can see uh, the class there also okay so uh, the question i have not solved here that is question number 3 so 2 4 and question number 7 you just try to solve the questions and if you face any problem yes obviously uh if you face any problem then tell me in my next class i will so you i will try to remove you okay now this chapter is completed now in my next class we will going to start a new uh, chapter so uh, we have two chapter left i think one is the probability and one is the um statistics okay so i will start probability clear next we will start we will going to discuss the chapter probability clear okay okay so thank you for attending the class and don't leave the group i have to take your attendance just wait a second don't leave i have to take your attendance